Hey, armas, chequen que deja armas, güey, este mero. Sí, güey. Está madre. My name is Matthew Heineman. I'm a documentary filmmaker. And my most recent film, Cartel Land, is about these two different vigilante groups fighting the Mexican drug cartels. Somos los cocineros de metafetamina número uno aquí en Michoacán. So with Cartel Land, you know, a film about these two different vigilante groups, one in Mexico and one in Arizona, both of whom are fighting the Mexican drug cartels, I really ended up with a story that I never could have dreamed of, predicted or imagined, especially on the Mexican side of the story, uh, where I was embedded with a group called the Auto Defensas, a group fighting back against the Knights Templar cartel after years of failure by the Mexican government to protect them. When I first got down there, I, I really thought I was telling a story of, of good versus evil, of guys in, in white shirts versus guys in, in black shirts. And over time, these lines between good and evil became ever more blurry. It was a really, really scary film to make. But the first shootout I was in, uh, I had no sort of experience to draw upon. Uh, you know, I'd never been in war, I'd never been shot at. But I knew I knew how to use a camera. I knew I knew how to focus, frame. Uh, Expose. And so that's what I focus on in those moments, and I think that's what sort of calmed me down. You know, what I really tried to do with this film was put a human face to this violence, to put a human face to this conflict, and show you a world that you don't necessarily get to see, show you characters that you don't necessarily get to meet. I wanted to make an immersive film, a verite film, a film in which I was following characters going through extreme uh, situations and journeys. It's not sort of a, a policy film, there's no talking heads, there's no government officials, uh, and that was very purposeful. There's this war that's happening, this war that's happening in the country just south of us. A war in which 100,000 plus people have been killed, 25,000 plus people disappeared. We're funding that war through our consumption of drugs. Obviously, it's, it's more complicated than that, but at its basic level, it's, 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 it's economics. It's supply and demand. And as long as there's a demand for drugs here in the U.S., there'll be a supply of drugs coming from Mexico and South America. And with that, the violence. The state's growing militia movement is causing concern among law enforcement. But I didn't have any intention of making this film. I had no personal connection to Mexico. I had no personal connection to the drug war. I just happened to read this article uh, that led me to one side of the story and then happened to read this other article that led me to the Mexican side of the story. And I decided to create this parallel portrait of these two, these two vigilante groups. Uh, sort of like relationships or, or love, you know, documentaries just hit you, they grab you whether you like it or not, and you, you drop everything to, to make them fully realized. And one of my mentors in the film world, Al Mazels, once said that if you end up with a story you started with, then you weren't listening along the way. And I think that's good advice for life, and I think that's good advice for filmmaking. You know, let the story evolve. Be, be open to the story changing. And that's something I really tried to do out in the field, and that's something I, I definitely tried to do in the edit room. All those moments when I was out, out there and, and I felt like the rug was pulled out from under me and, and the story that I thought I was telling changed or the, my perception of my main characters changed. I wanted the audience to go through those same emotional moments uh, while watching the film.